This video is on fission and fusion. So fission is where the nucleus of an atom splits into smaller parts. Here we have a uranium-235 nucleus, and it gets hit by a neutron. When the neutron hits my uranium-235 nucleus, we see that we see a malformation. So we have our impact, it hits, and as it does this, my nucleus splits into two and I get a strontium-90 and a xenon-143. In addition, it releases three different neutrons. These neutrons that released go on to hit three more uranium-235s and they each release three neutrons and so we end up with a chain reaction. We notice here that when we hit our uranium-235 with our neutron that we release energy. There's a large amount of energy released during fission. And we note that it created a chain reaction. Examples of where this happens are in power plants where they use uranium. Fusion is where two small nuclei combine to make a large nucleus. This occurs in the sun. In the sun, we have deuterium and tritrium, which are different types of nuclei, are going to go ahead and combine together, and they will make a helium atom, give off energy, and create a neutron. We'll notice that this produces more energy than before, and this is how the sun has all of its energy. Once all the tritrium and deuterium have fused together, our sun will no longer create energy. So fusion makes more energy than fission, and it's a lot more energy than fission. Ideally, someday, instead of having a power plant using fission, we'll have one that uses fusion to create more energy. Right now, we can't do that because it costs more to complete fusion than the energy that is made that will pay off. Some different uses is nuclear fission occurs in nuclear power plants and it occurred in the first atom bomb, looking at the Manhattan Project. Nuclear fusion occurs in the sun, this is how hydrogen bombs are made, and our fusion reactors. A fusion reactor is, a is like a nuclear power plant except using fusion instead of fission.